Hello and welcome. My name is Ajay Naik. I'm lead instructor at UI5CN. I have almost five years of experience with UI5 and related library development and almost seven years of experience in working with JavaScript based front end library. And I have been working with full stack development a lot. And in this particular course, I would be sharing my knowledge on how in 2019, if you want to develops app with UI5, how you should go about. So we have this course for all level of developers. If you are a beginner or intermediate or advanced, this particular course will be helpful for you if you want to learn UI5 development from scratch to advanced level. In this particular course, we will be covering library development of 1.63. Till 1.63, we will include the features and this is including the 2019 way of development where we focus more on manifest component and how the structuring of the app is different from the previous courses. The views which we are going to build are going to be XML based view and this will be Fury like app development. So in this particular course, we have focused on basics a lot and we are going to certain advanced level which might not be required for UI5 developer or Fury developer, but only for people who are working on library development. You can skip those part, but still we will be covering very advanced level aspect of UI5 library development within this course. Now we have already two courses on UI5 development, two main courses. The one is UI5 professional development, which was originally produced on 2016. And that course is considered now old because we have used JavaScript based views and a lot of component now have been updated based on the new standard. We also have one 2018 update of UI5 course which includes a project based development. But a lot of user mentioned us to create a course which focus on basics a lot and try to get those concepts right and in a very simplistic fashion. So we have come up with this 2019 UI5 professional development course where we will start from scratch, cover the basic, cover the intermediate and advanced level of UI5 application development. So not only application development, but also library development. So what we exactly are going to cover in this course? So first of all, we will start from a basic application. All the development will be done in SAP Cloud Platform using full stack web ID. We will create this application we will try to understand how the bootstrap process happened here. We'll go inside in each step and understand exactly how the library is linking, what it means to have async, what it means to have different themes, everything we will discuss in a very simplistic fashion and in a fashion where you understand and you are slowly, slowly grasping those concepts if you are new to UI5 development for the app development or library development. Now, once we got the bootstrap part, then we will go into understanding manifest based development, package.json based development, component involvement. Then we will discuss the data binding, routing, navigation aspect of our application, where we'll see how as an application developer, you will be using these concepts and building an application or building features in your application. Once we have covered that, we will extensively deep dive into component. We will show you how to use your API reference and cover the top 40 component which you will be using. We will show you how you can pick a particular component and use that in your UF application. If you already have a big application, then how you can add those as an extension point as well. So we will cover top 40 component, which will be more than enough to get the confidence you need to start working on big projects. Once we have covered that, we have given special attention when we design this course on integration aspect. So when you are using full stack web ID, how you are getting those destination, how you hit those API endpoints, how you design or develop those API endpoint as well. All those we are trying to give special attention because as a UIFF developer, you will be working side by side a BAP developer or you might also have a BAP skill set to develop those APIs. So the integration aspect will show you different different tools 
which can be used to test the API and consume the API in your UI5 app in multiple different scenarios. We'll also cover some part of CDS. How can you use CDS and annotation in your UI5 application? So we have given special focus on that. Once we have covered the integration scenario, we'll go into visualization analytics. So we have a library at this point with 1.63, where a lot of different types of graphs, charts, analytics are present. It's not only about Viz now. We have graph component, we have map component, network component. So we'll try to cover the major component and give you a basic and overview about the library and detail about how to implement it. Give you a template code of how you can bring those elements in your project and make use when you are trying to work on project. Now, once we have worked with analytical library, we will focus our attention on deployment and building. Now the application which we have is good from a developer aspect. When we put the code in production, we need a compressed piece of application which is fast. And this is the phase where we build the entire application. With the full stack web ID, we have those features inbuilt. We will show you how to build a compressed version of application, how you can import a compressed version of application and do changes on that, and how you can deploy a build application. So all that part will cover. This is a course which is packed with information knowledge to master UI5, not only from an application developer aspect, but also as a library developer aspect. And you can use this course to do much more than you can expect. I will highly recommend this course for anyone who is trying to learn UI5 or anyone who has already learned UI5 and want to learn more about what the library has to offer. And we have kept all the things very simple to understand and in a step-by-step -step manner, in a basic to intermediate to advanced manner, we are creating this course. And with this, I hope that this course will be meaningful for you. So join in this course and I will be seeing you in this course. My name is Ajay Naik. Learn simple.